Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Not related to car content or anything else like that. It's a little bit different, but it's related to your garage setup, your garage content type of thing like that. And today in this video, we're gonna show you how to make a cheap, easy, and cool project that you can do with your hands. It's amazing what you can do with your hands, so stay tuned, watch this video, like, share, subscribe, you do, do what you want, and enjoy. First thing is first, we're gonna head to my local pallet manufacturing company. Uh, what they do is they make the pallets, of course, and what's broken, they throw out to the public for anyone to grab. So that is where I'm gonna obtain my, some of my scrap wood for this project. We'll see you when we get there. We are packed full, we got all the materials we need. We got the wood, we got the screws, we got the wood glue, and that is pretty much all that you're gonna need for this project, and nails, of course. I already have nails back at home from extra projects, so if you don't have it, go out and get those. And we're gonna start this project as soon as I get back. Alright, so after you've disassembled all the pallets, if you are using pallets, you're going to want to take all those nails out of them. There's going to be a lot of them. Be careful. Um, they are rusty and you don't want to get tetanus. So, based on whatever application you're going to be using this for, size-wise, mine's going to be 26 inches. I'm going to put mine right on the pegboard behind me so I get all my drills up and off of and everything and out of the way. So what I'm gonna go ahead is I already painted my backboard here on the table white. It is 26 inches, so I'm gonna go on to the bottom part, which is where the shelf is gonna be. So this is the white's gonna be your backboard, and then this is gonna be the shelf where you're gonna rest the stuff on. So right here, I'm gonna measure 26 inches. I'm gonna mark it. You're gonna put a little bit of glue right on the bottom of your backboard. You're gonna put it right up to each other. Make sure you're flush and flat. And you're gonna go ahead on the back side and you're gonna screw some screws in or hammer some nails in. Now once you got your backboard, your baseboard nailed and glued together, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and you're gonna to wanna to make your side braces. So you're gonna measure that. You can have the braces whatever way you want, whatever style you wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and mark right here for the height. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut that. And then I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna make a little design. So it's pretty much gonna be like a uh, is you're going to want to make a triangle right into your piece of wood. This is going to be your brace that's going on the side of it. Instead of just having a big old blob right here like this, we're going to make a right angle brace for the side of it. So you're going to go ahead you're going to make sure it's nice and straight. Use your right angle for that. And then you're going to take your skill saw. 
you're going to first you want to just drill each corner with a drill just so that way when you go ahead and you do do that you're going to have a spot for your skill saw to be able to go right in and be able to do that it's a tiny little blade so if you don't drill the holes they ain't going in there so after you go ahead and do that you're going to want to trim your piece of wood to make it look somewhat nice i like to think myself Alright, now once you go on ahead and you cut that that extra junk off, what you're going to do is you're going to round off the edges just because it looks a little bit little cleaner, a little smoother, plus it helps from future injuries. If you do happen to bump into anything like that, it's not going to hurt you. So after you go on ahead and you sand down all the extra um, wood burrs, you know, chips type of thing off, make it look good. This is the time if you want to go ahead and... Um, if you want to stain the wood, if not, you can go right ahead into the next steps. Alright, now after you stain it or whatnot, you're going to go ahead and you're going to reassemble the side braces. So you're going to want to do is put a bead of glue down on the bottom and along the top. Now that you got your two side supports on, what you want to do is you're going to want to put your shelves on. You can put one on top, one here. You can have these braces go all the way up, and you can have one and two shelving units as well. I'm going to make mine parallel right with the top of my braces up for my height that I made. Pretty simple. You come into the back, and I'll secure it pretty good. All the glue is definitely dry, dried for the most part of it. So now we're going to do the second part of the shelf right here. So I went out, I got my PVC pipe, it's three inches in diameter. That's pretty much what most of the drills that I own are. You want to make sure you measure that though, just to be safe. I know that some of my impacts, I got one that's like a big impact. It's not going to fit this, but that's okay. I can just like set it on the shelf or something like that, and it's going to be no issue at all. I didn't want to have to compensate just for that one drill when I have more that are the same. So now what we're going to do is you're going to measure the width of your table, and that's what you're going to want to cut your pipe to. So I don't know if you want, it's up to you. You can put as many as you want down. I'm going to try to put as many as I can down that it's gonna look okay with enough spacing in between them that it's not gonna look overcrowded and have issues down the road with removing and removing stuff because you wanna make sure that the battery packs down at the bottom of these drills are obviously wider than the grip itself. So you're gonna to wanna to take that into considerability because when you put them in there to hang, they're gonna be bumping down at the bottom where the battery is. So take that into consideration. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut out four of them. Mine are about 11 inches um, from from here to here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that leave it a little bit of room from the front to back It's not quite it's probably like 11 and a quarter I'm gonna just do 11 because I don't know if, if I hang them on the wall if the walls a little bit You know cock or nothing like that It's it's not gonna be rubbing against them put a lot of pressure onto that screw That's gonna be holding in the PVC pipe itself. So all right, we're gonna get going here I'm gonna measure out five 11 inches apart 
and let's get started. All right, so after you've gone ahead and you already cut out your pipes, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna pre-trace a smush to you, I guess, halfway up, maybe a little bit less. And you wanna make sure you do it the right you know, size for your drill, so measure it accordingly. And if you don't have a bandsaw to do this where you can easily like feed it in, turn it like nice, nice, you're gonna have to use the jigsaw again, bolt it down like the uh, the wood brackets or else it's just gonna it's just gonna freaking go everywhere. So you wanna be careful. Always pay attention to what you're doing so you don't hit cut your finger off or anything like that. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna cut out all these and then we're gonna continue the next step, which is screwing in it to the stand. All right. After you cut out your little. U shapes into your drill mounts. You're, you're going to want to do is just file off all the burrs um, just so it looks a little bit cleaner, nice. You get rid of all that white stuff. Uh, you have the option if you can paint it if you want, or you can just leave it white. For now, I'm just going to leave it white and we're going to see what happens with it. Obviously, it's going to show like all the fingerprints and smudge marks and stuff like that, but I'm just going to leave it as is for now because you're not going to see the tubes itself, you're just going to see the white bases itself, except for the edges, of course. So it's, it's not going to really bother me. It's, you're in a, a garage, so. But did snazz it up a little bit, you know, doing the tint, the, not the tinting, oh crap. Um, doing the staining, so it made it look a little bit better. So now what you're going to want to do is equally space them apart, like I said, for the girth size of the drill bit. And what you're going to want to do is line them up however way you want. And the key thing is, is the screws that you're putting into it. Make sure, make sure, make sure you get the proper size. Don't forget, you have to go through the PVC and you gotta go through into the wood shelf without going through the wood. So I got myself a nice little half inch screws here. Um, so, cause the wood is an inch thick. So I got a little half inch, it goes through the PVC and a little bit into the wood. I just load them up with all the screws. I got three there, three there, three there. I'm gonna try to get some down at the bottom, but I gotta re resituate this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a little quick view of, of what I'm doing here for you guys. And let's get started to it. Get this thing done and on the wall back there. 